Hello once again everyone. Sorry about the gap of a day there. I had some trouble processing and uploading the Thieves Guild video. It's not that I needed a break after the Thieves Guild. I never need a break from Thief. I can't get enough Thief. Especially not when we're going to play my favorite mission in the entire game. The Sword is up next. As always, you can see the briefing on the playlist. It's video number 17. Here are our objectives. Find and obtain the sword, it's probably on an upper level of the mansion. Take the opportunity to steal other valuables. Pull off the job without having to kill anyone. While you're in the mansion, see if you can dig up any valuable information about Constantine, and leave the mansion with the sword. Now, we have a choice to make in this mission. It's possible to ghost it, it's possible to perfect thief it, it's possible to supreme ghost it, but re getting supreme ghost requires us to skip three pieces of loot. I'll point out those pieces of loot. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to pick them up or not yet, we'll see, but know that it's possible either way. As always, we don't need to make any purchases. Come on. And the mission begins. First, let's head over to the front door and listen to a conversation. Think anything will happen? Probably not. But don't soft up, though. Not me! Now this guard has a healing potion, or I'm sorry, not a healing potion, a purse that we need to pickpocket and obviously that we won't be returning. The guard tower next to the entrance has a healing potion, which I won't be getting because I don't need it, but uh, if you're interested, Clatramus reports that it's possible to get it through the window with some clever leaning. Ah, Oops. Stop. With some cre- I got carried away talking. With some creative leaning, you can get the healing potion through the window of the guard tower without busting any ghost Think rules. Will happen? Probably not. But don't soft up though. Not me. Let's try that again and be a little more focused. I got carrying away talking about the stupid potion. There's an extra area inside this mission if you have Thief Gold that doesn't exist in Thief the Dark Project. I'll point it out when I get there. I also should have pointed this out in the Bone Horde, but it wasn't a big deal. Back in the Bone Horde, if you remember when I got the Mystic Soul from the Flaming Spirit or Fire Shadow, whatever you want to call him, he only exists in Thief Gold. He's not there in Dark Project. Anyway, there's our first pickpocket. It's a purse worth 100 loot. We're ignoring the healing potion. If you want it, you want to get it through the window to keep Ghost intact. Now, we'll enter the mansion through Garrett's alternate entrance. These rafters up here. Really very easy to do. There's nothing that can hear us around here. That patrolling guard doesn't come this far. Always retrieve the rope arrow. And we'll head in through this balcony. Before we do that, let's look at our map. Garrett had to piece together his own map of Constantine's mansion, and he really only knows much about the outside. Here's the courtyard, he's got the outside wall, he's got a pretty detailed portrait of the front hall, and really, that's it. Somewhere inside there's a garden, he knows it's three stories tall, and we're going in through this balcony, but that's all we have, and that's not much. The door is unlocked, that's always nice. There are three silver coins up here, which brings our loot total to 136. This door is locked, and we can't pick it open, so we really only have one way to go, which is over into this tower and down this ladder. <coughs> Come on. There we go, much better. Now in this room, down at the end, if you're interested, you can find a mine and a flash bomb. As always, we have our handy door shadow, which we will heavily use. There are four guards that patrol inside the first floor of the mansion down here on this level. Three of them have keys that we want. I like to get credit for the pickpockets. We don't actually need to use the keys. There's a route through the mansion that lets us 
leave all the keys, so I'll just pick them up and then immediately return all three to the guard's patrol routes. Here comes a guard. We'll nab his key as he passes by, or passes close, I should say. Now we'll briefly follow him and immediately return his key on the carpet of his patrol route. Nice and easy. Uh, if you want it, up there by the front entrance is a fire arrow inside the fire. We'll go into this room next. Over here inside the pillar, there's a safe, which we'll have to pick open. We can't relock it, unfortunately. We'll ignore the healing potion, but we will take the loot. And then we'll shut it again. That brings our loot total to 186. Sounds like he's close. We'd better wait for him to turn back around. There we go. Oh, dang. He didn't see us. Good, good, good. I'll move up here. There's another patroller roaming around, so be careful. Alright. Now this is a good spot to wait for the guard because he has for another guard because he has a purse that we need to grab. That brings our loot total to 236, our pickpocket total to 3. We'll go ahead and follow him into this dining room. Get in the black shadow. We need to wait for this guy to turn around. Go ahead and nab his key for our fourth pickpocket. And as with the last one, we can immediately return it to his patrol route. Now, grab the candlestick from the dining room table and notice the door in the ceiling. You begin to see why I like the sword. It has such oddball pathways and architecture. It's really very cool. This isn't a perfect shadow, but I don't think we should even get a first alert standing here from any of the guards, which is nice. Through there is the kitchen, but there's nothing in there that we need. I 
had to move quickly to get to that shadow. I don't think this is exactly where I want to be. No, I'm not ready to I'm not ready to hit the garden yet. I'm sorry, there's a there is a piece of loot in the kitchen. There's a vase, which we need. That brings our loot total to 336. For now, just wait until the guard is out of the kitchen. Now we'll head this way. Noisy floor, so take care to remain silent as you move across it. Meant to hit the lean key there. Hit this door next. Wait in the shadow. This brings us forward into the bar. This is a good shadow to hide in. That's the same guard who patrolled into the dining room earlier. We've already nabbed his key. So we'll just wait for him to turn back around, and then we will loot the bar. There are two bottles of wine here in the back of the bar. Worth 50 each for a total of 100. Well, a total of 436 and in here we find three goblets which brings our total to 511 make sure to close that behind us save when you get to a shadow always good policy get to this shadow get and drop the key and inside the doorway shadow what we want to do is uh oh good that was close get into this door up here and get the vase from inside this room. Brings our loot total to 611. If I remember right, no one patrols into here. I remember wrong. 
This could be a very bad save. Thank goodness. All right. In this room, we find two goblets bring our loot total to 641. We need to move quickly once he passes that way, because he turns the corner and then comes back into this room. Now we'll head to the second floor. Be careful of those stones with the symbols on them. If you get close to them, it'll trigger a Spitfire trap. And as you should know, that busts your Supreme Ghost. <clears throat> Through here is a locked door we need to pick open. No guards patrol this area of the second floor, but the ones on the first floor can hear you if you make noise. So it's Im still imperative to stay quiet. Here's a bathroom of sorts with mushrooms and dirt and plants in the tub and sink. Like Garrett said, if you're rich enough, you can build any sort of madhouse to live in. Now here is our first decision point. Those two silver nuggets, if you highlight them, they trigger a spitfire trap out of the mouth of that face. Triggering that trap in and of itself is a supreme ghost bust. But it doesn't bust Ghost. I have decided that I just can't resist picking up loot, so this will be a perfect thief run with two Supreme Busts. This is the first Supreme Bust, but know that it is possible to Supreme Ghost the mission. You have to forego this loot in order to do it. They bring your total to 741 if you pick them up. Did I shut the bathroom door behind me? Yes. Also notice the odd torch with the gray flame. I haven't decided if that's part of the mansion's weirdness or if that's just a bug. In here, there's a key, which we need, and a document. Master, the one who trespassed your greenhouse is chastised. He did not know the rules, but spies there no longer. Put that back as close as we can get it. And head on back out the way we came in. We're gonna need this bad boy. Now, here's something else. Up this ramp is the third piece of loot that you have to ignore if you want Supreme Ghost. You can get it in Normal Ghost just fine. The problem is, the trap is directly caused by Garrett when you cross an invisible tripwire here at the bottom of the ramp. Unlike the traps in Bone Horde, it doesn't fire constantly, regardless of whether or not you're there. Which makes it a ghost of a bust of Supreme Ghost. I, however, 
am a big fan of getting all the loot in normal ghost mode. So. Now we have to be careful dropping this boulder too, because obviously we can trigger a second level alert from guards down on the first floor. But what you have to do is put the boulder on the pressure plate to get the trap to stop firing. Well, maybe we need to wait for the guard to clear out because it sounds like it's the firing of the trap that's alerting him more than anything else. So I'll wait until I don't hear him anymore. I don't hear him. There he is. Damn it. Maybe I just need to move faster. Go ahead and make some noise. Let's listen. Alright, yeah, that was the key. Here's another instance, by the way, of that glitch I mentioned in the very first uh, mission, Baffords. People being able to hear you as if you're on the same floor as them when you're not. Anyway, obviously you just have to get up the ramp fast enough. Pick the lock on this chest in the corner. Get the diamond out for a total of 841 loot. Now we have to wait for the guard to get away again. Take the boulder back down the ramp. That's our second bust of Supreme Ghost. That's all the Supreme Ghost busts that are necessary. But triggering the trap by coming up here. Bust Supreme. But Ghost is still intact. And I'd rather get Perfect Thief because... I don't know. I just hate the feeling of leaving stuff behind. Listen again to make sure we didn't get heard on our way down. We did not. Alright. So that's it. Those two silver nuggets in the bedroom and the diamond in the chest in the corner have to be skipped if you do skip them, it's quite full it's completely possible to Supreme Ghost this mission. Those will end up being my only two Supreme Ghost busts as I do manage to secure Perfect Thief. I'll drop the boulder back where we found it and head back out into the hallway. That particular rule seems a little arbitrary to me. At this juncture, the spirit of Supreme Ghost is intact. There's no way anyone could tell that I was up here except for the missing loot, but alas, it isn't up to me. I don't make the rules. Let's head into this room. Over here on the table, we find two goblets, which bring our total to 871. Back here, we find another flavor document. The City Tribune. A woman from Shalebridge who was acquitted of charges of robbery in a city court last week has been kidnapped by members of the Order of the Hammer. The woman is apparently being held in squalid conditions in Cragscleft Prison. Whereas the Hammerites did not cite any official reason for the incarceration, one of the Order was quoted saying, She hath sinned in the Builder's eyes, and thy slothful laws hath touched her not at all. This is just neat. Open the door. There's just a face. Nothing else. Let's head back out to the hallway. And keep moving down this w direction. In here we have still more trap protected loot. 
that has to be skipped for Supreme Ghost. I guess there will be three busts, not two. When you open this chest, it triggers that spit It triggers these two. I'm sorry, fireball traps. But that's a third supreme bust. My bad. That brings our loot total to 971. If we head up here. We find another gold, gold nugget up in the fireplace. Brings our total to 1,071. Let's move on. Stay quiet in this hall. The patrollers down on the first floor can hear you. In this room on the left, there are two locked chests which contain a deer leg and a healing potion. <coughs> Not relevant to us. We'll just move right along. Now there's some loot in the room here on the right. If we open that door, it triggers a trap that we don't have to trigger. So obviously, I will avoid doing so. This, by the way, is the room we first entered the mission from. I forgot about that. <laughs> you have to be careful of the hole in the floor because the first floor patroller can actually see you. As I said, this leads back to the door we came in through. We obviously need to wait for the fellow on the ground floor to be farther away, and then we need to make a little jump into the room on our right. We need to listen and make sure no one heard us make that jump. Now we can move into this room. You see the two doors. If you open either one, the faces spit fireballs, but if you jump through that entrance, the trap doesn't trigger. You can get the gold nugget for a loot total of 1171. And we need to get to the ledge on the north side. Let me make sure no one heard that. sure no one heard that. Avoid that pressure plate. It's another unnecessary trap trigger. Another unnecessary supreme ghost bust. And move along. Through here, you see some fly swarms. You open that chest, the diamond drops out onto the floor. It's the only instance where opening the... I think that's the only instance in the game where opening the chest doesn't just give you the item inside. Now, we can get through here without damage, but it, it requires speed and probably a little trial and error. What do you know? Got it first try. Nab the diamond for a total of 1271. Now, just walk between the two swarms of flies come up to this shadow uh, head left because there's a book for us to read if nothing else compendium of natural magic chapter 15 Tatyana's flowers these flowers grow primarily in the icy mountain caves of the Essa range by way of defense they have evolved a method of warming and swirling the magical energy of the sentient plants and rocks discussed in the last chapter lulling them to sleep the flowers are named after Archimage Tatiana Jokovic, who pioneered their use in the temporary negation of magical spells and systems. 
Through this door is a bathroom that has a water arrow, which we're not interested in. Head back to this shadow and wait until you see the next patroller. Yes, we do have patrollers up here with us again. Been a while since we had that to deal with, I know. There he is. Follow him. Now this room is the room you can come into if you take the door in the ceiling of the first floor dining room. Grab that vase for it brings our total to 1321. Open this secret door. Use a rope arrow to get inside. Jump up. Jump off. Make sure you don't hit any of the pressure plates. And now, close the entrance and retrieve the rope arrow. This room is safe. No one comes in here. Well, unless you, you know, trigger traps and such. As always, you can step through the corner to avoid triggering the pressure plates. There's a mine on the floor, which I'm not interested in. One of these chests has a ring, which brings our loot total to 1421. The other has a diamond, which brings our total to 1521. That is enough to solve our loot objective, by the way. 1500 in additional loot while we're in here. Again, make sure I didn't trigger any of the pressure plates. Now we can hear the patroller from up here, so just wait until we hear him walk through the room. We can follow him out here, although we have to be quiet again. Let's make sure we stay quiet up here. Cross that whole tile room and get to this wonderful carpet. Now head up this ramp. Be careful because it's a tile surface. There's a nugget up there which brings our total to 1571. As always, make sure no one heard us. And then. Alright, we don't have to go through that door. Let's head through this one. There he is. We were just ahead of his patrol, which is good. Follow him out. Now there's another sensor on the floor here which will trigger a trap, so just make sure you avoid that. Then we head up this ramp and access the even stranger third floor. I really like this mission. Some people don't appreciate how weird it is, but I really do. I just love it. We can just follow this 
passage, tunnel, whatever. Through all the places where it's lit up. The sound in this game is so good. That little giggle still gives me chills when I hear it. Creeps me out. Another upside down room here. Let's head through this door. Never save outside a shadow. That's not entirely accurate, but it's close enough for our purposes. You can hear a lot of guards around. We're getting close to where the sword is hidden. I can't remember exactly where I am. Alright, you can see the sword up above us here. Now, the designers intended for you to have to get up to the top, get the sword that way, but the truth is, you can get the sword from down here with a perfectly fired rope arrow. Hmm. Oops. Alright, let's get in the... get in the shadow and wait for this guy to go by. Trying to decide if that's wood I see or not. It is. Obviously, we need to get this shot on our first try. I think that was too high. Perfect! Perfect, perfect. I'm just gonna wait for this guy to leave. I'm 
reasonably certain I can get the sword from this opening without falling out. Take my new sword and get out of this crazy place. Perfect. Very well done. We have found and obtained the sword. <laughs> now. One of the archers has our sixth pickpocket, so. I'm gonna wait for him and grab that right quick. <sighs> Just so we get credit for that sixth pickpocket, and then once he's farther away, I'll try and drop it back on his patrol route. Excellent. I know it's also possible to get down safely. Believe I can even do it without taking fall damage. Oh. Might require another rope. Notice the weirdness of rope arrows. Well, that one didn't work. I think we need to get it angled out a little bit farther if we can. Come on, dude. What is that? <laughs> Seems like the way to do it is to what is that? shoot it a little farther out. But... <laughs> if he decides to come in here, we might be completely screwed. Oh no, good, good, good. Whew. I'm unsure how I should get to that rope now, but Who's show there? yourself. Oh. Hey. All right, what is that? Oh. <laughs> All right. Come on. What is that? Who made that noise? There we go. Let's take a minute and listen and make sure that really was a full absence of alerts. 
hopefully we can descend. Yes! Very good! Woo! Now just... For the sake of looking for something, I'm told that our old sword is now on this pedestal. I don't know... I don't know for sure that that's the case. Let me see right quick. Same way I saw in the first place. Make this shot again. Come on, Garrett. Jump on the rope. There you go. Don't try to run, Tampa. Just surrender now. I don't know what people are talking about. I don't see Garrett's old sword anywhere. All right. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Let me do a sweep. Just to be absolutely certain. Yeah, no. No sign of our old sword or anything else, so. Now that we know that guy is not currently a factor. Let's get do our best to get back to this tunnel. So anyway, there you go. That's far and away the easiest way to get the sword. To use your rope arrows and come at it from the bottom. The designers didn't intend it, but what can you do? Ghosting is all about finding things the designers didn't intend. Let me see if I can't get oriented again. I don't think this is where I want to be. If you haven't already noticed, it is very easy to get disoriented inside this mission. But that's sort of the fun of it. <sighs> well, this isn't where I wanted to go either. Right, well, now I'm oriented better. Can we go through here? Well, for now our ghost is busted. So.
Alright, this still isn't what I want. <laughs> Here, I think, is what I've been looking for. Okay, yes. <laughs> uh, making noise like that always makes me nervous. <sighs> Through here, shoot a rope arrow into the table in the sideways room. <sighs> Hopefully, Garrett can get on to it. Descend without damage. Take that candlestick for a loot total of 1621. Now we'll save with the sword in hand. Now we find ourselves in the garden. In this window, if you want it, is a fire arrow. In here, you can find a moss arrow, a mine, and a flash bomb, none of which I'm interested in. I'm gonna wait until I spot the guard I hear patrolling. I'm gonna make sure I'm out of his way, too. He's gonna come right by here. I think so, anyway. Very good. He's got another key which we can take and immediately return to his patrol route. If you're interested, the pool in the middle of this room has a water arrow in it. I'll be ignoring that. He's going to see us. No, he's not. Very good. Oops. So I think you can squeak into those shadows before he turns around, but maybe we need to head the other way. Yes, yeah, good. Okay. Now that he's gone, first cross the river. Let's make sure he didn't hear that jump. Looks like no. Head in here. Oh, hold on. We can un unlock these without lockpicks and relock them. With the key from the bedroom, you might remember. And we back here, we find four goblets, which bring our loot total... Oh no, I didn't want those fire arrows.
There we go. Now be wary of the fire arrows back here. You can grab them if you want. I don't. So much so that I'll reload to avoid them. After the four goblets, our loot total is up to 1721. Now, to brief note about this door, you cannot open it in this mission. You'll be back here in another mission, Escape. Way lock that door behind us. I'm gonna wait for the guard to appear and disappear again. Now this area is only present in Thief Gold. I think it's really neat. It makes Thief Gold worth having for me. If you hit this switch, the grate in the river will open, and we will go for a swim. can be tough to get through here fast enough because it's a pretty long swim Whew, just made it all right This area is obviously inspired by Gulliver's Travels. Here we are the giant in the tiny world. In this little stone circle you can find a breath potion, if you're so inclined. I have no use for such things, I'm a champion swimmer. There's just one guard running around in here. He does have a healing potion which we'll want to pickpocket. As we have an opportunity. <clears throat> Thought I saw. Oh, damn it, Garrett. Can't get around a simple tree. Grab the potion. Drop it on his route. Let's sprint through here. We see the the tiny village. Hear the strange chimes. Over here we have a dam. Behind which is a huge lake with a pipe. By the way, that's eight pickpockets, that healing potion. Now we move through here. Head on down, head on down. Yes, we are now in the bottom of a huge kitchen sink. We came in through the drain. I haven't actually read Gulliver's Travels, but I know he gets to a place where everyone is a lot bigger than him, in addition to Lilliput, where everyone is much smaller. There's all kinds of stuff in here. It's pretty easy to get around using rope arrows. If you head up there, the mug on top of the shelf on the top shelf has a water arrow in it which we don't need we do need to get to this table it'd be nice if our friend Garrett would jump when I press the space bar but I know I know it's asking a lot So anyway, I'm not going after unnecessary equipment, but there's a water arrow up there in the cup. There, we made it to the table. Now, oh, 
if you go over to the stool and then get up on those shelves, you can find a few things. You can find, I think, at least one more rope arrow. <clears throat> Maybe more than that in a pin cushion on one of the shelves. That red box you can see at the far end of the far shelf, that's a matchbox. And if you get inside there, you can find some fire arrows, which is pretty cool. Now here, the way we get down is to jump into this tub, which I'm not sure what it is. Is it a dog dish? I don't know. Inside it are three water arrows, if you need such things or are interested in such things. Finally stuck in the carpet here is another rope arrow. Now we need to get up onto the sofa, but we need to be careful because there's a guard on the table who might notice us. He hasn't made any remarks yet. Let's move nice and slow, just for the sake of avoiding even a first alert from him. Supreme has already been busted by my choice to pick up the three pieces of loot which triggered the traps. But there's nothing else, and nothing else is needed. So get down in between the couch cushions for some more cleverness from the game designers. You see a die here. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Maybe a potato chip. But... These two giant coins are only worth 10 each, but they bring our loot total to 1741. I'm also not certain what this is supposed to be. Looks like a giant wooden spoon, but... Now, you can mantle up here, get down to the end. Mantle, oh no. Don't want to make any noise. Mantle up here. He might be too far away to see us, but never hurts to be careful. Now, we can ignore the table, because we're not interested in the moss arrows, which can be found on the piece of cheese. It is possible to get onto the table without alerting the guard and pick up those moss arrows, if, in fact, you do want them. Ugh. <sighs> Now, our challenge is going to be to get down to the floor without taking any damage, uh. as you can see. <sighs> yeah, all that creep crouching was completely unnecessary. Maybe if we just put a rope arrow in the table, we can get to it and be alright. Oh, that was... Close, that was awesome. Safely on the ground. Safely in a shadow. We'll make another save. Ay ay ay. Now there are I should mention that there are guards down here, but they they're extremely easy to avoid just literally just by giving them a wide berth. The room is so huge. Their patrols are so long. You can get around them no trouble. Oh, well, let's move along. Now we do need to get onto this desk. See the two guards over there. First thing we're gonna do, shoot a rope into the low end of the chair, and climb up. Don't retrieve the rope yet. We're gonna need it to get back down. 
once you're on the chair. Shoot another rope as close and do your best to make it stick straight out from the wall like that. <sighs> Turn around and jump onto the desk. Mm. Now, we can't reach it from here, but we can reach the one we just fired, so we'll jump onto that one, pick up the old one, jump back to the desk, pick up the newer one, and we should be set. Now read this document. Men often say, heavy is the head that wears the crown, for once they speak the truth. I've told the poor lads over and over, come not into my private retreat. Do they listen? Do they hear? If they fall victim to my sanctum, so be it. And now you'll notice that our incriminating information on Constantine objective is checked. This is important. If you're interested in supreme ghosting, you have to fulfill the objective this way. There's a papyrus which you can carry with you at a different part of the mission which also fulfills the objective but obviously people would notice that papyrus missing that's a supreme ghost bust but this allows us to leave the other papyrus where it is and still finish the mission with supreme ghost intact so you need to come in here if you're a supreme ghoster that's the long and the short of it there are water arrows inside the ink well. Ah. Now, from here, we should be able to grab the rope that we left in place, but it might take a few attempts. Come on, Garrett. Well, here's another option. Maybe if we fire one lower into the chair, we can grab it and get back down here. Now, hopefully, we can get on this rope. Well, that's a no. That didn't work. Perfect. That's what I wanted all along. Hopefully we can grab that and descend without any damage. We can. Now if you go, if you keep moving, you can see the two guards way over there. Around this corner into the bedroom. In the mouse trap at the dead guard, you can find a speed potion. Up on the bed itself are a couple of spiders with three moss arrows, which you can sneak to get if you're so inclined. Obviously, we don't need them. Here inside the box, you can find three noisemaker arrows and two rope arrows. Again, which we don't need, but it is possible with, by playing with rope arrows to get in and out and get everything. We don't need to. Now, for Supreme... We want to get back out the way we came in. That might seem Looney Tunes, maybe it is a little Looney Tunes, but the reason for that is the door out through the mouse hole can't be reclosed. I would rather leave things as they are. 
Even though those traps went off, things are still as they were. I'm a little bit bitter about that rule. I'm not going to lie. I understand the rules that are all designed to make it so everything is exactly as it was when we came in the mission. This doesn't seem like one of those rules. It seems arbitrary. But, it is what it is. Supreme Ghost has been busted by that, but we can get it fully intact for the rest of the mission. Come on, Garrett, get on that rope. There we go. Oh, dark engine. <laughs> Grab the rope. Jump back into the sink. Make sure your air is intact. And swim on out the way you came in. Back out through the Lilliput zone. Remember there is a patrolling guard. Oh, he's so good to see us. Yep. Well, maybe we head the other way. Alright, maybe we wait. Oh uh, yeah, waiting, how eminently reasonable. What an annoyingly logical solution to the problem. We'll head over here. Wait for him to walk back. I don't think we should even get a first alert comment from him. No, very good. I'll make sure he's far enough away not to hear our splashing. Swim right back up. Then we'll make the long swim again. Well. As soon as I remember which way to go is up. Swimming back is a lot easier because you're not going against the current. Although visually you appear to be, you'll notice that the resistance is such that you appear to be swimming with the current when you come back. Hope the guard's nowhere around. Mantle out into a handy shadow. We'll wait till we see him arrive and leave. Well, hitting the switch again does nothing, but...
Where's the gate? My gate appears to have disappeared. Dark Engine will do that to you sometimes. Anyway. Let's do a real save here. With that whole area cleared out. Need to make sure he didn't hear that splash. Sounds like he didn't. Most excellent. There's a water arrow in the riverbed where we jumped in back there. Now we're in a new area of the garden where we haven't been yet. There are more water arrows to be found in here. You have to be careful, the guards can hear you splashing around. Now if you head out east, staying in the river, you can find two more water arrows. Let's go this direction. Swim up here. There are two more water arrows in the water here. If you swim farther east and farther west, respectively, you can find two water arrows, one at the bottom of each well at either end of this canal. Now, guards do patrol here, so be careful. Wait until you don't hear anyone, and then get out of the water. There you can see a guard. And I'm gonna wait until he leaves this room. If you head this direction... Where is it? Over here you can find a vase in the southeast corner. Then as you head into this room... Get your rope arrows out again shoot one through the water, climb it through the water, make sure you're still attached to the rope. Garrett really doesn't like holding on to rope arrows. Oh uh, no. Did I save while I had the hold of the rope arrow? Good. and somehow manage to jump out into the room. Maybe if I drop down a little bit. Excellent. Now, in this room, enjoy the fact that you're audibly isolated from the rest of the mission. Enjoy the sound of Garrett's little tap dance. While you're up here, Obviously grab the vase, your loot total should now be 1841, unless you're going for Supreme Ghost, in which case it'll be 300 lower than that, 1591, 1581, 1541, yes, 1541. Now, if you're interested, on the rafters in the top of this room, you can find a moss arrow, a fire arrow, and a water arrow up there, and then come on back down. For us, the only point of interest is the vase. Now in here, somewhere, I can't remember exactly where, there's a couple more pieces of loot. I think they're gold coin stacks. Yeah, here they are, back here. Brings our total to 1891, and I am going to wait here in this relatively shadowed spot until I see the guard go by. Okay, I hear him coming. He has a purse we need, which will be our ninth pickpocket.
There he goes. Let's follow him. Let's make the pickpocket. That brings our loot total to 1991. Wait here until he, you see him head north. Then cross into this greenhouse. There's a moss arrow in here. We are obviously uninterested. Head down here. Find this door. It can also be opened with the key from upstairs. Move in here. In this room, we find two pieces of loot, a goblet and a bottle of wine. Total 2056. Here's a papyrus. Mr. Constantine, I do hope that our final renovations have met with your approval, and I would again like to thank you for your business. As one of the few lay architecture houses in the city, we found that we have quite a bit of proving ourselves to do, and the patronage of someone such as yourself is always appreciated. If there's anything else that you would like built or modified, please let us know. Please also rest assured that we have no objections to taking further payment in this form, though we are, of course, deeply curious as to where you obtain such a quantity of raw gold. Lionel Carthman. Now... You can carry that scroll with you and solve the incriminating information objective, but solving it that way requires you to take the papyrus with you. I'd rather leave it where it is. But you noticed that picking it up and dropping it actually unticked our incriminating information objective, so... I'm going to reload. I didn't realize it was going to do that, actually. And I'm going to leave it where it is. Anyway, no big deal. No big setback. Just wait again for him to move. Anyway, this time we'll just grab the loot and read the other book. Raquel's Tome of Magic, Introduction. It is the erudite practitioner of magic who, in these days of pseudo-wizards carelessly wielding enchanted materials, retains the secrets of commanding the powerful sorcery found in the world of nature. For it was from listening to the hidden whispers of ancient oaks of creeping vines of desert sandstone pillars that civilized people first learned the abstruse ways of magic. And with that done, let me make sure our objective is still good. We can leave. We can lock the door behind us. Wait until we hear the guard walk in again and follow him out. Let me just pop out and see where he is. Okay, he's close by. Follow him out. We'll need to pick the lock on this wooden door to the left, or steel door, whatever. It's a wooden room. In here we find two vases, which bring our total to 2256. We can wait here until the guard heads it back into the greenhouse area. Head strike out this direction. Here's another good shadow. Head down this little ramp. 
We swam through this area already, but we haven't been on the surface of it. That sounds like he might be stuck. No, he's not. Okay, good. You can see him. You can see his patrol getting a little bit glitchy. But we can wait here for him. Looks like he'll eventually manage to walk around that tree stump. He has a purse that we need, which will be our tenth and final pickpocket. Hopefully we won't have to wait too long for him to navigate the tree stump this time. Oh, looks like we might. Good. When he walks by, grab his purse. 2356 loot, that's our final pickpocket. Now... Okay, we're gonna have to... Be careful of him. You see the room uh, over in the, what is it, southeast corner? You can get a moss arrow from there if you're interested. You can rope up to the top of the hanging box. I'm not particularly interested, so we'll go ahead and come into here. See this huge tree? Why, yes, it is huge. Now, inside this tree, it's difficult to see, but I just found it, is another passage to the third floor. A well placed rope arrow. Oops. Gets us inside there. Jumping onto the rope can require some height. Oh. My quick save was not well timed. Need to find the hole again. It's very tough to see. Here it is. Alright. Oh, nope. The rope is there. I just got disoriented. Okay. Alright, we've got hold of it. We climb the rope. Jump off. Away from that bit of light you can see. Now, the designers... I don't know if they meant for you to be able to pass through there or not. I, I think they did. Because there's a moss arrow at the bottom of the inside of the tree through there. But... There's no way to get out if you go in there to get the moss arrow, so we'll ignore it anyway because we're not interested in such things. Ow. It's a tight squeeze, but you can get through here. Head up here. For the curious, we're back on the third floor. The truly crazy part where the sword could be found earlier. That one's a dead end. That one's also a dead end. So. There we go. Garrett can frequently get stuck, but. There we have succeeded. Now, I think if you head up that rope, you get back to where the sword is. That's not really where I want to go. Gosh, it sounds like someone's about to come right here. So there is. And there's another one.
I don't think I'm where I want to be. Help me get we'll this to mess with us. No, I'm not. There's another way out of here. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. Take the tile floor at the beginning. No one patrols this part of it. Ah, here we go. Check this out. Listen to those giggles. Off to the right, something else. And look at this! Now... At the end of this walkway, you can find a diamond. It brings our loot total to 24.56. Jump down to this lower one. Grab the gold nugget, worth 25.56. Now... Yeah, I didn't think you could see it in the sword. Later on in Escape, you can find yourself far below these walkways, and when you look up, you can see them. But you can't see the lower section in this mission. Oh well. <sighs> Now we head back into here. And we're just going to head out the same way we came in. If I can find my squeeze, here it is. Now you can't make that drop without uh, hurting yourself, but if you shoot a rope arrow... Oh. Well, maybe you can make that drop without hurting yourself. Anyway. We're almost done. In here, there's another moss arrow, I think. Yes, there is. Very good. If you move through here, you can find another big tree. Here in the south, inside the plant, you find a gold nugget, which brings our total to 2656. That is the last piece of loot. Yes, out here is what I mentioned earlier. That overhang has a moss arrow on top of it. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait until I spot the guard. Follow him out of the room. The only thing left for us to do now is return the gray key to the upstairs bedroom. I will follow the homes here on out. Stay behind him. Hope he doesn't do any of his spin moves. Well, he thought about it. I'm glad he didn't. Perfect. Now we can get back in the water. Make sure he didn't hear us. Swim back into here. Hope no one's around. 
pop out and move this way. I'm kind of just hoping no one's around. Seems like they aren't. Now we can duck down here. This is a good place to save. No one patrols this staircase. Okay, I think he's gonna come through here now. Maybe not. Oh yes, yes he is. Good, I'm not crazy. Wait until he's gone. Head up the stairs to the second floor. We need to relock this door, which can be done with the gray key. We'll do it the same way we did the Thieves Guild. We'll lock it, but make sure it stays open. As we move through here, drop the key back on the desk where we found it. Head over here one more time. Stay quiet as always. from here, all we need to do is hope the guard's not around. I don't think we need a rope arrow, actually. <laughs> okay, we do. Right, let's just rope down to ground level. Pop through this door. And, you may have noticed, we are back where we got in. The balcony is sufficient to end the mission. Alright, so, what we've accomplished here is a perfect thief of the sword. We almost fully supreme ghosted it, with only three busts. The three busts were the decisions to take some treasure, which directly triggered traps. We could have supreme ghosted it had we decided to ignore those three pieces of loot. They were the two silver nuggets in the bedroom, the diamond in the chest on the second floor with the invisible tripwire and the pressure plate that we use the boulder to shut the trap off, blah de blah, blah And third, the gold nugget which triggered the fireball trap when we opened its chest. Had we ignored those three pieces of loot, it would be a supreme ghost but it wouldn't have been perfect Supreme Ghost, and I don't know, I found out as I tried that I'm still too OCD to leave loot behind when it's possible to at least ghost the mission and still get it all, so in the final tally, having made the decisions I did, this is a perfect thief run of the sword with three Supreme Ghost busts, 
three trap triggers by choosing to get loot that I could have ignored. But that's it. Pretty straightforward. Let's look at our stats. Total time, 1 hour, 16 minutes, 37 seconds. Found 2656 loot out of 2656. Pockets picked 10 out of 10. Locks picked 4. No backstabs, no knockouts, no damage dealt, no damage taken, no healing taken, nothing and nobody killed. For the campaign so far, the time is 19 hours, 38 minutes, 30 seconds. The loot so far is 13,694. We haven't dealt any damage since the training mission, and we've still received none at all. With all that said, I'm going to save here at the end. I will see you later for the Haunted Cathedral. Another great mission, but the first mission that we cannot even ghost. Sad but true. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.